What's up guys, Cameron Tech Support Supervisor with Fuel Tech USA. We have Smiley who is here on the diner today with his badass nitrous Mustang. It looks like you're gonna race in um, X275, right? I'm trying to, yes. So uh, from, from when you got here, I know that you had some jetting and stuff on, on the nitrous system that you guys have been struggling with a little bit, trying to get it to live and, and figuring out the fuel system and getting all of your uh, fuel injection, injection stuff sorted out. Uh, so you, you wanna let me know how that went today, what, what we kind of, overcame and oh, how I'm it very ended impressed up. with the way it went and I learned a lot I'm glad I was here because we had a fuel line come loose mm -hmm. and that would have caused a wreck at the track I know for a fact full tank of gas oh yeah yep. yeah yeah and there's definitely no safer place to do anything like that made some really good numbers um, everything engine health wise looks great uh, you know like awesome power really healthy engine um, Looks like it's pretty well sorted. Now, now you just have to figure out how to make it go down the track. <laughs> yes, yeah, we'll get that figured out and uh, we're gonna step it up to the spark box and all that. Uh, okay. And get that going yep. so we can manage it a little bit better. Yep, That's going, what we're looking for. Going to the individual coils is gonna let you do a lot more uh, timing manipulation that you kind of are <laughs> mechanically limited with a distributor yeah, I somewhat. Yeah, about that today, you know. So, I didn't realize it was that much advantage. Oh, it's a huge advantage. I mean, the distributor stuff works. It really works. But if you want to go to the next level and be at the top of your game, coil on plug is definitely where it's at. And uh, there you go, guys. We had an awesome time on the diner today, made some, some awesome power, a lot of noise, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.